Come watch this brother make some kimchi for the first time. Now, look, I'm not going to be making this in the most traditional way because traditionally I would take the cabbage, I would break it in half, and then I would graciously paint the kimchi paste in between each individual cabbage leaf. I'm going to be making mock kimchi, which is essentially just pre-sliced kimchi. Beyond that, everything else will be the exact same as far as traditional ingredients, I would say. Right now, I'm going to break down my vegetables. So I have some cabbage. I have Chinese chives. I also have green onion and I have Korean radish. I'm going to try to break those down to about a matchstick size or so that they're essentially kind of roughly all around the same size. The salt that I'm going to be using to brine my cabbage in is a Korean Korean coarse salt and I want you guys to pay close attention to how big the granules are. You don't want to use a salt that's too, too small uh, because you could run the risk of your cabbage being overly salted. In the bottom of my mixing bowl, I have five cups of water. I'm going to add in a half a cup of that salt, and then I'm going to start to layer in my cleaned Napa cabbage and then continue to add salt as I layer it in. I only used one full cup of salt altogether. I'm going to wrap that in cling film and let them sit for about six or seven hours. I'm making my porridge right now, which is two cups of water, two tablespoons, of glutinous rice flour, two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm letting that come up to a boil once it gets nice and thick. Pour it in a bowl, set it to the sides so and gets to be room temperature. You're going to know when your cabbage is ready once it's nice and pliable and it doesn't snap. I'm going to rinse it about three or four times to make sure that it's not overly salted. In my food processor, I'm going to add in an Asian pear, half of an onion, some garlic, some ginger, some salted shrimp. This is all going to give it amazing, amazing flavor. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of some plum extract. I'm going to add in about one third of a cup of fish sauce. And I'm going to add in probably, I would say, about one to about one and a half cups of the guchugaru, which is our Korean red pepper powder. And I've also added in the porridge. I'm going to give that a mix. Then I can go on ahead and start adding in our vegetables. As you can see, that color is already beautiful. You want to be nice and gentle and make sure you're wearing gloves so that your hands are not stained or you start burning. Now, I'm going to let you guys know right now, I have such an appreciation for the culture. And so this process was such a joy for me. I loved the entire process of making this kimchi and I cannot wait to taste it. Now that I got it all mixed together, I'm gonna to put it into my container. I'm gonna allow this to sit out on the counter for about 24 hours and then I'm gonna transfer it to my fridge and allow it to continue the fermentation process. And I'll come back for part two to let you guys know um, how it all turned out. You wanna make sure that you burp that though, lift up that little, that little lid there so that it doesn't explode on you. I can't wait to try this y'all. You have no idea. Thanks for tuning in, bye.